What is going on guys, welcome back to Cheeky Crypto Uncensored, I am JB. Today we're going to dive into Ethereum, have a look what's going on across the one hour, the one day, the one week timeframes, what has happened, what is likely to happen next, all the usual good stuff. And as always guys, if you're enjoying the content, smash up that like button, subscribe, tap on the bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video coming to you from Cheeky Crypto Uncensored. Let's get straight on down into the charts for this one for today. Ethereum paired up with USDT, Binance is the data source for this one hour chart, where we left off the last time i think that was over on the main channel we were looking for the price to continue breaking down for ethereum which did continue to do so we were looking for a move into the area highlighted here between one thousand five hundred thirty four dollars seventy five cent and one thousand five hundred sixteen dollars thirty eight cent we can see we have moved into this area bounced from here and we find ourselves in quite an interesting spot for eth so what has happened since we have hit this area? We have moved up to $1,575.36 and it looks like that move to the upside may just be complete with an A, B and C structure. Like so, we draw this onto the charts guys so we know what we're talking about right in here. We can see we have an A, B, C structure with the C wave passing the one to one of this move to the downside is this move finished there's potential for this to carry on to the upside in another correction however it looks like it's going to be quite challenging for it to do so we can see this structure as complete we are trading back below the 50 ema here we are in the weekend so i do expect us you know to be sitting in a bit of a, a static position over the course of most of this weekend we can see a bit of a channel starting to form here with the price coming down pushing up down up i don't expect it to be overly exciting over this weekend um given the fact obviously the weekends we do have lower volume levels trading becomes a bit harder to do we may just see a bit of a stagnant chart coming into you know the tail end of sunday something forming out a little bit like this it's an awful drawing i do know but i don't expect anything exciting to happen over the course of today or the earlier hours of sunday however into the sunday evening we can expect a bit more volatility we can take note of the stochastic position on the one hour here is oversold but as we just alluded to this can move very fast um on this on like these weekends with low volume so we can see the the stochastic moving very fast with little to no price action which we have already seen so far over the earlier hours of today the four hour and the eight hour stochastics are overbought looking for a continued push to the downside when we look at this through the lens of smart money concepts we do have a weak low on the charts and we are trading well below the one hour equilibrium with the early 200 EMA sitting quite high up in the charts here also around about $1,580 with the one hour 50 EMA around about $1,550 so I think we're going to have a bit of a slow day today with pace picking up a little bit tomorrow going into Sunday Sunday evening the weekly close position and so forth we may see a bit more volatility then but we can obviously take note we have had this correction to the upside our initial targets we will be looking for is the retracement of this move. We have already met this level on its minimum requirement of the 50%, but we can be looking for a bit more push to the downside to around about $1,527.32 as per the FIB levels. This would be the next likely area for Ethereum to push down into. Will it be at stopping point? Who knows just yet. We may see a bounce from here and this may just be looking more like an A, B and C structure. We may be pushing back up towards equilibrium across higher time frames however that seems highly unlikely to be the play in motion on this move to the downside though we can take note we have had a five wave structure initially we bounced up in this a b and c structure um coming up to $1,662 and then from here we have completed another five wave move to the downside so next obviously we'll be looking for a correction to the upside which it does look like we have already had this one and we will be looking for the next move to the downside however we can take note of this move that has happened so far on this initial five wave drop we have came down and tested the one to one of this entire move so i do think it is in an interesting level just now we could see this move continue to break on down however we have to take note that we could potentially be seeing an a b and c um, structure forming here to the upside bringing us back up towards equilibrium filling out this fair value gap we can see we are in a bearish structure as per smart money concepts we have changed the character it is in a bearish structure now but one thing we have to note 
as per smart money concepts when we see these change of characters we do tend to see a break to the downside then a move back up before a continued break on down so i do think we have to pay attention to what is going on here for ethereum especially with it being the weekend we won't see much volatility and we can see these stochastics reset very quickly due to the lack of momentum which could then give us the momentum to come back up into the c wave be sure guys we will be covering this as much as we can we will take another look at this into the the early days of next week i'll target doing a video again on ethereum coming to monday or tuesday where we can pick this up with a little bit more accuracy where we know the more definite way that ethereum is going obviously breaking higher than one thousand five hundred and thirty six dollars then we can be looking for a further push to the upside but by first of all breaking lower than 1537 then we know we need to test into these areas then we have the further drop to the downside if we break lower than 1521 dollars then we know we are moving on down for ethereum and this move here is for myself the most likely next play for eth i expect the price to continue breaking down over the next coming days when we move up to the one day chart here we can see we are in a very bearish structure as per Elliott wave theory for ethereum and smart money concepts for ethereum we do see over here we had the change of character turning the last push to the upside where we came up to around about what was it 1000 eh, sorry 2141 dollars in this wave four which we will look at on the weekly chart we came up and you know it was a bullish structure for quite a while we did see the change of character it did turn bullish however we have came back down we have came down aggressively changing the character the character the structure as per smart money concepts is bearish for ethereum i think the macro landscape the economic landscape is bearish for ethereum also we can see what's going on there if you're keeping on, to on top of all the the articles that are coming out in the news and obviously everything that chris is covering off on the uncensored channel here um yeah, Ethereum is not in the best of positions. Let us know your thoughts on uh, where Ethereum sits. How bu bullish or how bearish are you on ETH currently? As you will know, if you're down in our Discord, I've been bearish on ETH for quite a long time and that has not changed. We had to see Ethereum break the $2,159 area. It failed to do so. It has aggressively broke down from here and I expect this to continue. So as per the structure, we are moving down in this wave three. The target area, we have entered into the target area for Ethereum here between $1,569.81 and $1,450.10. The lower area here, the $1,450 is the interesting area. This is the impulsive trigger for uh, the continuation to the downside for ETH. Where we do take the movements here, we can understand what's going on. We had the initial five wave drop down, giving us the next move to the downside. Yes, this drop lower, but this looks to me to be in a regular flat correction here in the wave two, like so. We can do our measurements here shortly to understand why that is in a regular flat. When we bring this to the high of the wave two, we can see we have our 1.236 to our 1.618, with the 1.618 here being the impulsive trigger for further moves to the downside. I will quickly cover off this irregular flat correction here. We can see we do have a five wave move to the upside here, which is typical. This is what you need to find in the C wave of an irregular flat. And then the requirements for that move, we can see it has dropped past the 1 to 1 to 1.236 here in the B wave. And then we would be looking for the further push up in the C wave. We would look for the 1.618 level. When we take the initial measurement of the A wave down to the low of the B, we can see we did surpass that, giving us the idea that this is an irregular flat correction as the wave two. So we have a wave one, wave two, and wave three we are coming down on. We can see that this wave three filling out the fair value gap from the 13th of March, 2023, and also filling out this fair value gap from 12th of March, 2023, with the next one, the likely one that is likely to next be filled between $1,510, $1,466 from the 12th of March. This is likely to be filled out very shortly, I believe, for Ethereum on this daily chart. Finishing off this move in the wave three, where we can expect a bit of a bounce for ETH in this wave four. Now we can see a lot of things on the macro side starting to line up. We can expect a bit of a push to the upside in the charts. You know, we can see all the news recently about the spot ETS for Bitcoin and so forth. We do have some bullish news on the horizon. Obviously, the, the narrative in the space just now is October is October. It's going to be green. I have said that since the start of October, it was actually the end of the, uh, September. Um, 
I believe October will be a red month just because it's been green previously does not mean it has to be green again. September is notori notoriously a red month. However, it was green. So why does October have to be green because it has been before? The answer is simply is it does not have to be green because it has been green before. And looking at the structures, looking at the mac macro landscape, I believe October will be a red month and we will continue to see this break on down with the yeah, the target area, the ideal level, $1,450.10. Guys, we'll quickly jump over to memberships.jkcrypto.io. I'm sure you know by now, but we will continue to let you guys know that there is a seven-day free trial on all plans. Go over, check out, capitalise on it whilst it is still there. Of course, you will know we do have a free Discord. It is linked in the description down below. However, having your membership gives you access to higher levels within the Discord, the likes of the Traders Chat, the Traders Tier, the Elite Tier where you can request TA from the one hour, the four hour and the one day charts. And you can also then get the trading ideas coming from our TA bot. Fantastic things coming out of there. There is also twice live weekly AMAs with Nick and Chris, Mondays and Fridays, and twice live weekly TA sessions with myself and with Festoon. I do them on Thursdays during the day and Festoon does them on Saturday today. So obviously go down into Discord and join in there whilst it is on. But yeah, head on over, check it out, guys. I'm sure you know all about the website by now, but take advantage of that seven-day free trial. We've had a look at the daily. We've had a look at the one-hour charts. We know the levels. We know the targets. Let's jump over to the weekly chart where things are bleak, in my opinion, for Ethereum. We are still looking at this on the, the Binance uh, data source here. And yes, I am targeting, and I am saying this Many times before, I will continue to say this, I am targeting Ethereum to hit $714.96 and a bearish outlook of $509.36. If we respect the structures that are playing out here, there is the possibility, there is the structure in play for Ethereum to hit these levels. Minimum expectation for this bear market for myself for this fifth wave move is $881.56, which would be a double bottom with the previous low over here from the 13th of June 2022. That is a minimum expectation. We can take note that just below here, there is a fair value gap coming from the previous um, bull market, January 2021. Um, it has a low of 550 no, it doesn't. It has a low of $717 and a high of $1,890. Apologies, guys. It has a low of $717 and a high of $890. This fair value gap is likely to be filled out in this bear market, in my opinion, in this fifth wave, where we could see the upper area of this target area coming into play. When we do zoom into the charts here, we can see we have a bit of a bearish outlook again here for the weekly close position. We are trading well below the 50 weekly EMA. We are trading well below the 50 um, SMA here on the one week chart. And we have now broke down once again below the 200 weekly EMA. Continuation from here, if we close this candle right here below the 50 EMA, coming at $1,587, then I'm afraid the outlook remains the same bearish for Ethereum. Obviously, I do expect the price to continue moving down here with this move in the fifth wave. We can take note of what's playing out this to myself, the way I look at the charts here. Under the, the scope of Elliott Wave Theory, we are simply in a wave one move of this fifth wave. We can expect the bounce to come relatively soon for ETH. Then a continue breakdown in a three. This will be a big move, a wave four and a wave five. But I do still believe we are in this first wave of this fifth wave to the downside. I am bearish on Ethereum. I think you guys can tell that by now. I don't think Ethereum has a great outlook on the charts. The only way to change my mind, my outlook and the structures for Ethereum is breaking on up. We need to see the price break higher than this white line of $2,159 on the USDT pairing Binance data source here. We have to see the price break up higher than this to break the idea of this structure and this move to the downside. ETH is not in a good position, in my opinion. Purely my opinion, guys, as you will know. Everything I have talked about today is my opinion. This video is made for entertainment purposes only. It is not financial advice and should not be taken as financial advice. For I am just a guy on YouTube talking about the charts the way that I see them. Do your own research on all things we have covered and spoken about. 
Do let us know your thoughts on Ethereum, where you see Ethereum going in this bear market and in the next bull run. Do you expect Ethereum to set a new all-time high, the previous all-time high coming up here at $4,868? Do you think Ethereum will break this in the next bull market? Under the current structures, I do not think we will see a new all-time high for ETH. I have said it, it is out there. Well, let us know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below, guys. We will wrap it up there. Smash up the like button, subscribe, tap on the bell, all the usual good stuff. If you are going to trade, please do trade safely. Have a nice tight stop loss. Make some great gains. Stay safe in the space. I do hope you all have a very nice weekend, guys. We'll catch you in the next video.